Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today the washing machine motor this old fellow how to wire the washing uh, machine motor the basic stuff that you need to know how to wire it both on AC and DC alright, so let's get started with a little bit theory and then you're going to see the examples this is an, the washing machine motor Yeah, it's called universal motor because this type of motor can run both on AC and DC that's why it's called universal motor as you can see here these are all the wires you see there are plenty of them with some grounding and stuff but all you need to know is this these two wires these are the tuck wires we're not gonna use them so don't worry about them we're gonna use this the brushes and inside the motor the coils all right so you have to follow these wires this one as you can see is blue we're gonna follow it all the way through here so blue we have managed to find one the next one is light blue we're gonna follow it is next to the dark blue so we're gonna have according to this side come on friend you see these wires this is the dark blue and this one is the light blue light according to this one and dark to the other side to have a better view dark blue on this side and light blue on this side all right then you can see here close up yeah we have dark blue light blue two more wires a black and a brown let's say and these two red ones we're gonna follow them all the way to here the tuck one that we're not gonna use so it's pretty simple folks we have here the first one the first dark blue which is this one we're gonna skip one wire and we're gonna connect to the black one as I'm gonna show you here and we have two more wires opened yeah these two we're gonna connect them to an DC power source you see the rest we're gonna cut them as you can see now, we're just gonna need four wires. The rest, we're gonna cut them just like so. Here we go. You see, we are left with just four black wires. Once again, brushes and inside coil. Yeah, one of these is gonna connect to one inside, one of that one. As you can see, we're going to skip one, connect to the next one. And we're going to have two remaining, which is this one and another coil inside. But we're going to connect them to the a DC power source. All right. Let me bring in a DC power source and you're going to see this stuff moving. We are back, folks. We have here an 18 volts drill battery. We're going to connect it straight away. And it's not doing nothing. What the fuck? All right, folks, we are back. A small technical problem. And again, let's see. Now we're gonna power it up. Here you go, folks. You can hear it moving. is is moving at low speed because this washing machine motor, you know, the the DC power that we are powering with it. This is a drain battery, so don't get high hopes for it but keep in mind because this is a universal motor that's rated for 240 volts so it's going to operate at maximum speed just on that voltage doesn't matter if it's ac or dc but imagine that we just managed to power it with 18 volts let's try now with a normal 12 volt light acid battery a small one let's see if it's going to power it yep 
Can you hear it? Yes, friends, it's working. Okay, it's working. So, you can ask now, you know, uh, what are these washing machine motor uses? You can use this as a generator, as an um, electric bike, as a go-kart. You can make a log splitter with it because it's got a very high speed. This in particular model, this one is... Here we go, folks. 220 to 40 volts, 13,000 RPM, 2 amps, 420 watts, 50 to 60 hertz. Thermally protected, whatever. So, this one is very useful in lots of applications. You can search YouTube, you can search my previous videos there, that I'm going to show you how to um, control the speed, how to connect a small DC motor to it to become a generator and so on and so on but this video is just the washing machine motor wiring basics that you have to know in order to wire it both on AC and DC alright now I'm gonna show you how to wire it on AC it's very simple folks so once again you can see here the wires yeah you just follow this you have to follow these wires or this washer motor and basically you're gonna connect it like this this one which is this one yeah you're gonna skip one wire and connect it to the other one which means you're gonna connect to this one the other one which is this one the second one is gonna be here loose and we're gonna connect to the fourth one which is this one here yeah you see close up so one connect with three and two and four is gonna go to the battery simple folks very simple for most of the washing machine motor this connection is gonna be the same one and now the surprise folks how to wire this on normal on ac you know, this uh, procedure is called like hot wire or direct wire of the washing machine motor you see the surprise is none the connection is gonna be the same one the same as on DC you can check my other video here and these two wires we're gonna just plug them into the mains huh what do you say let's see alrighty alright folks as a proof we have here a small cable that is connected to the main so be very careful don't try this at home and you see 240 and the symbol is here to AC all right then we have the power and now let's see if it's gonna be kaboom oh shit oh my god all right folks fingers crossed Jesus Christ that's it folks this is it, it's working. Thanks all for watching. See you next time where we're gonna build a generator of this washing machine motor. Till then, this was it, the tutorial on washing machine motor, how to wire it directly. Be very careful. See you next time, friends. Bye-bye.